we didn't mean to put deserving as an outside the vortex concept. You do deserve it. And when you know you deserve it, you're in the vortex. And when you know it, the universe cannot defy you. Interesting, isn't it? If you really want to understand purpose in the way that you felt it coming in, it's the difference between the way you feel when you're going on vacation and the way you feel when you're going to work. Okay. In other words, we would like it if they felt the same to you, but in most cases they do not. Most humans outside the vortex would describe purpose as something that I should do for some cause or for some improvement and while they would feel that going on vacation is just to selfishly satisfy their own interests and we want you to understand that from the non-physical perspective you must not separate those two in other words you don't come forth and become an author or a painter or a sculptor because your planet needs another painting or another book or another sculpture it doesn't you come for the joy and the thrill of the process of the involvement of the painting and the book and the sculpture you come for the joy of the expansion you see the word purpose is really tricky because expansion is inevitable and purpose makes it sound like if you don't do specific things expansion won't happen and that's not true expansion will happen exposure to life causes expansion whether you are purposeful about it or not in other words we call that creating by default contrast causes you to launch rockets and the source part of you rides those rockets and new generations that are born into this time space reality continue to ride that rocket and they receive the benefit of the contrast that you've lived in other words the expansion is inevitable so we don't want to say you came for the purpose of expansion because duh <laughs> Esther likes that word the expansion is inevitable so n let's not call it purpose you know what your purpose is joy your purpose is for alignment your purpose is for the joy the purpose of your life is joy it's joy everything else is a given that's what you're reaching for you see and that's why source remains source in other words source has the ability to see all that is but when you're sick source doesn't look at your sickness source looks at the wellness that you carved out of the sickness and holds such joyous anticipation in your manifestation of it that there is never any deviation in the vibration of it which is what causes the signal to be strong enough that you can catch wind of it if you are joyously oriented what you're thinking in this moment causes you to offer a vibration and the vibration that you're offering is your point of attraction now it's worth considering what you've recently been offering vibrationally because that does influence where this vibration is in other words if you've been depressed and in this moment you're offering a vibration of anger you're in a better place so what is your actual point of attraction well it's anger influenced by that depression that you've been holding this is really good the reason that it's anger is because it is still influenced by your recent vibration of depression and that's why it's anger and not joy did that make sense to you your point of attraction is completely about the vibration you're offering now Oh, here it is. This is the first time we put it into this way. Let's slow down and get this in a way that you can hear it. So who you really are, the source within you is always a factor in your vibration. But let's say in your human form, you've been beating the drum of depression. So the relationship between who you really are and what you've been beating the drum, that equals your current point of attraction. When you stop doing that thing you do, this becomes a more dominant vibration this who you really are vibration and it brings you closer to who you are so now you're angry but you're angry because you've been hanging around in depression the vibration that you're offering right now is influenced by who you really are and the drum that you've been beating so when you deliberately 
reach for a better feeling thought that is in the direction of who you really are, you can move very quickly up the emotional scale. As strong as the vibration of who you are is, it cannot control the vibration of your being because you in your body thinking the thought you're thinking with your free will because you're the creator of your reality plays a big role in where your vibration is. Are we getting there for you? Mm -hmm. So in every moment, your vibration, your set point, your point of attraction and your emotion are as a result of the juxtaposition of who you really are and what you're thinking in this moment. What you're thinking right now is really influenced by what you've been thinking. Are you aware that there isn't anything that you want to know that we haven't addressed in its entirety here today? <laughs> and the reason we know that, and we do know that, <laughs> the reason we know that is because the gathering actually gathered before you dragged your physical bodies here. What you are living has cued you up for what you are wanting to know. And this combination of people who have come forward and conversed with us was the best probability from all that we knew about what you were wanting to know to bring you to the place of greatest clarity in the speediest manner. It is our desire that you leave this gathering with just a very short list of intentions. The first intention that would serve you would be, I've decided that I'm going to be in the vortex. And even though I don't always know what that means or exactly how to get in, I've got the gist of it. I know that sometimes I just sort of stumble in. Sometimes I hear a song on the radio that puts me right there. Sometimes I remember making love to someone and it puts me right there. Sometimes I remember a beautiful view or something that someone said and it puts me right there. So sometimes I just find myself in the vortex. And next time that happens where I'm consciously aware that I'm having a really delicious moment, I'm going to stop and say, what is it about this that I like so much? Jerry and Esther have taken to that. They'll be often in a restaurant or sometimes moving down a highway and they will find themselves just feeling so good that they will want to exaggerate the aspects of the moment in order to milk it just a little longer. Sometimes someone will offer them a compliment or a gift or a letter and they will talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. Sometimes they will read your letter 10 times because it felt so good the first time. Why not do it again? In other words, milking, milking the moment, milking the moment of being in the vortex for the singular intention of practicing the in the vortex vibration. So when you find yourself there and you practice the vibration of it, now you find yourself more often hovering, if not in, near the vibrational doorway of the vortex. And as you hang around in this vibration of hope, in this vibration of optimism, in this vibration of positive momentum, what happens is your vortex just takes you in again and again and gives you evidence of your alignment, which then you want to talk about and milk further still. If we were standing in your physical shoes and we found ourselves in the midst of negative emotion, we'd poke at it momentarily just to see if we could squeak one more little burst of power from it. And then we would say, I am now finished with this negative feeling and finished with this negative conversation and finished with this negative thought. In other words, we would literally bring ourselves into a position of decisiveness or determination. I'm going to be in the vortex. I'm going to be in the vortex because it's who I was born to be. And I've put so much there already as a result of the life experience that I've lived that now my best work is from inside the vortex. If we were standing in your physical shoes, interacting with the many people that you have moving in and out of your life, we would decide that we want to be beneficial uplifters to anyone who crosses our path, especially little ones. 
and we would decide that since words don't teach and since people are in all kinds of different vibrational proximities to themselves and to us we would decide that we are going to express our knowing through the clarity of our vibrational projection we would say things to ourselves probably isn't necessary or even a good idea to say it out loud to too many people who don't understand what it all means anyway but our mantra to ourself would be I'm going to radiate my perspective from inside the vortex I'm going to do 100% of my calling of people when I'm sure I'm in the vortex I'm going to write 100% of my emails when I'm sure that I'm in the vortex I'm going to have 100% of the conversations with the people I love my children my mate the people I work with from inside the vortex and if I am wondering whether or not I'm in the vortex or not I'm going to hold back and remain silent and look for an opportunity to be in I am going to be the black mouth of all blabber mouths from inside the vortex and I'm going to be very silent when I am aware that I'm not in the vortex no more am I going to defend or justify my experience or try to prove myself right or make others understand my position because I now understand the futility of anything that I'm doing or saying or thinking while outside the vortex I have made a decision right here right now that I am going to to the best of my ability moment after moment I'm going to be in the vortex and in making that decision it is our promise to you that you will find yourself there 10% more tomorrow than you were today and the next day 10% more until within a matter of 10 days maybe two weeks at most you will have moved your position from mostly outside the vortex to mostly inside the vortex and what that means from a manifestational standpoint is things that you have been waiting for for a long time are going to begin to show up and show up fast what it also means is your level of joy is going to begin to soar in unexpected ways your ability to think will become clearer and people will be quite amazed at the clarity of your being your physical apparatus will begin to come into alignment medicines that you've been using will become unnecessary conditions of your body that have been unpleasant will begin to fall away muscle toning will begin to take place you will begin to breathe more deeply the metabolism of your body will come into alignment every relationship that you have will find improvement in it your ability to perceive what's going on in this planet will be moved to new heights and your ability to create whatever you are wanting whenever you are wanting it will become apparent not only to you but to others who are looking at you you are the creator of your experience and you now understand the laws of the universe the guidance system within you and the vortex where all cooperative components are assembled you now are personally empowered to be or do or have anything that you choose and it is our desire that you understand that that is precisely as you have intended it to be you have the full resources of all that is backing you up there is no holding back on your behalf anything that you ask for we are all queued up in ready assistance about but the work has been already done by you save this last little piece of making sure that you're in the vortex nothing matters more than the way you feel so your new mantra could be today no matter where I'm going and no matter what I am doing it is my dominant intent to look for those things that I'm wanting to see for I am one who compliments I am one who appreciates I am one who loves it is my natural heritage it is who I am we have enjoyed this interaction more than words can convey and we are appreciating beyond your ability to even feel fully the power of your probing into the contrast of your environment and the motion forward that it is provided for all of us there is nothing that any of us need to do but we all continue to exist because life feels so very very good there is great love here for you and as always we remain in the vortex